and welcome to today's video. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited, but first of all, I hope you're ready to dance because it's Gurkha Spray time. Let's go! Hey, 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 go! By telling him that he stinks because he does he stinks principal williams like all you have to do yeah is sit right next to him and you see that he stinks i don't know why i've got a detention because i told stephen that he stinks and he needs to go and have a wash because he stinks like that's being kind to stephen he stinks and i was telling him that he stinks that like, i don't know why i'm in trouble for you need to get in in here you know to tell him that he needs to go and have a wash because he smells i thought i was doing a kind thing to stephen by telling him that he smells! Like, why am I in trouble for? That ain't even fair!
go kids and welcome to this week's video how did you find praise did you all join in yes yes did you all get up on your feet and and dance you know like no one was watching and praise jesus like no one was watching i hope you did always remember i'm always watching okay <laughs> i hope you guys had fun doing that and i hope you guys have had an amazing 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 week so i'm not here alone okay i've got harriet the heart with me okay you guys remember harriet from a couple of weeks ago okay now she's back with me because we're continuing to talk about can you guess can you guess that's right, we're carrying on talking about love today, okay? So last week, um, we started talking about love and we started talking about how important God's love is, you know, how important God's love is to each and every single one of us, you know, and how God wanted us to love our neighbour, okay? That reminds me, what was our memory verse? Who can remember? 10 points for whoever remembers. What, what, where was it? Okay, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Matthew 22 verse 39. Exactly. That says the second command is love your neighbor as yourself. And we started talking about how important love is, how important it is to love one another because ever since the very beginning when God created us, he created us in his image. So God created us to love just like him, okay? And how love is what we need right now at the moment, especially with the way the world is. Love is what each and every single one of us need. And love is what's going to bring people out of darkness where they don't know Jesus to light where they get to know Jesus, okay? Because love is very, very attractive, okay? And I spoke about four action points. Who can remember what those four action points is? I, I hope you've been thinking about these four action points yeah okay number one was that's right ask God to show you how to love like he loves yes and number two was perform acts of kindness yes exactly well and I hope you guys have been doing that this week and number three was what tell your friends about Jesus exactly tell your friends about Jesus because you want the best for your friends and you love your friends you know you want them to know the truth you know so it's important to tell them about Jesus and last but not least number four was to pray for others, exactly, it's to pray for others, okay, pray that, that, that others come to know Jesus and pray that God touches people's hearts so that they can love as well, they can come in and they can experience God's love as well, okay. So today, um, we're going to be carrying on, okay, and moving on to the next stage, okay, because we're going to be talking about how love brings us together, okay, especially... You guys can see my shirt from here. Our Go Church shirt that I've been wearing. What's the first word on there? Love, okay? Love, love is the first, the first thing. Love is, love is, remember we're talking about 1 Corinthians 13, okay? Okay, without love, you're nothing. Without love, you're nothing. Remember, out of faith, hope, and love, the greatest of these is love, okay? The Bible even says it, okay? The Bible even says it. So I want you guys to open your Bible, okay, to Galatians chapter three, verses 28 okay galatians chapter 3 verses 28 if you're there let me hear you say hallelujah that's right i heard you okay so it says so oh this week i'm i'm switching gears a little bit because i saw another bible here in go kids that some of you guys use and it's the niv the new um, international version so i was just like oh okay let me use that okay so i'm switching it up okay so i'm reading from niv Okay, and reading from Galatians 3.28. Okay, so our memory verse says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. I'm reading it again. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in in Christ Jesus okay so who was Paul talking to okay so Paul was talking to the church okay and under the law before Jesus came there were so many rules so many regulations there was the law which bound people okay we know the Ten Commandments okay and we know the I guess the penalty and 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 and, and what you had to face you know the, the hardship you had to face if you didn't live up to the law if you didn't meet you know the, the you know the Ten Commandments okay how there was the Day of Atonement, where the high priest will have to go and, and basically sprinkle, you know, the animal's blood, you know, animals that were clean, sprinkle the animal's blood so that people's sins were taken care of, you know, people that didn't live up to the law, right? So Paul was saying, now that Jesus has come, now that Jesus paid the price for all our sins, okay, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter how you look, 
it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, right? You are all one in Christ Jesus, okay? Why? Because I remember actually in John 17, Jesus prayed. This was before Jesus, you know, this is before Jesus was about to be crucified. In John 17, Jesus prayed that we should all be one, okay? He prayed for us believers, us that know him, he prayed that we'd all be one, okay? He didn't want us to be separated because, oh, you only speak that language. Oh, you have yellow hair, so you should go over there, okay? And you have black hair, and you have black hair too, so okay. So black hair crew is gonna stay together, everybody else that looks different is going to be separated no no that wasn't that wasn't the plan of jesus okay the bible says in galatians 3 20 you are all one in christ jesus but how do we become one i'm asking you guys how do we become one we become one by by love exactly we become one by love okay because it doesn't matter so that that scripture says it doesn't matter where you're from it doesn't matter you know what race you are it doesn't matter whether you're male or female it doesn't matter anymore no one's better than the other okay no one is more special than the other god looks looks at us as equal okay god has no favorites he shows no favoritism. He sees us as equal. He sees us all as his children, us believers, us that have accepted Jesus into our hearts, okay? So it's love that makes us all one, okay? And why is that so powerful? Why is it so important then that we're all one, okay? Let me just put my friends away. I'll see them a bit later. <laughs> so why is it so important then, okay? Why is it so important that we're all one? Why is it so important for love to bring us together? I'm talking to us as Christians, okay? This is why. Let's get our Bible again. And let's open to, we're going to go to John now. We're going to go to John chapter 13. Yes, we're going to go to John chapter 13 verse 34 and 35 okay so that's john chapter 13 verses 34 and 35 if you're there say hallelujah there we go okay so i'm gonna read so a new commandment i give you love one another this is jesus speaking as i have loved you so you must love one another so jesus isn't saying mm, think about loving one another or if you like love one another jesus said no so you must love one another it's a command jesus is instructing us that we must love one another okay and in verse 35 it says by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another okay what does disciples mean we've spoken about this in go kids that's right it means follower okay disciple means follower okay who are we following we're following jesus okay so if jesus was showing love when he was here on earth okay if jesus died for us out of his love He's telling us to do the same. He's telling us to love just like him, okay? Because guess what happens when we're all one, okay, when we allow love to bring us together, people that don't know Jesus, your friends that don't go to church, your friends that don't know Jesus, their family that don't know Jesus, they can see the love that we as Christians have for one another and they'll be attracted to it. Remember I was saying this last week, that love is so attractive and infectious infectious because people 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 like the look of love they're like look how nice they're being to each other okay that's that's amazing like for example a lot of you guys <clears throat> which i'm really really which i just love about you guys you know you've, you've all invited your friends to church to go kids and could you imagine if you invited your friends you know to go kids one time and you were all fighting you were all saying mean things about each other you were all not being kind to one another Okay, do you think they want? Do you think they're going to want to come back? No, they're not, they're going to go away thinking, aren't those people supposed to love Jesus? Aren't those people supposed to follow Jesus? Why were they fighting? Why were they saying mean things to each other? Why were they Why were they being disobedient to 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 Abraham or Joyce or Vashti or Elinam? You know, so love is such a great example it's one of the most easiest examples we can show if we want people that don't know jesus to come and you know to come and know jesus to come and give their lives to jesus okay so it's so important that especially as believers you know as as christians that we are that we love each other okay because guess what we can achieve so much together we can reach more people for jesus together you know we can give more together 
you know, we can touch more people's lives together. So let's let love bring us together, okay? And I want you guys to think about that. I know we're all not physically in Go Kids at the moment, but I want to encourage you guys so that when we do come back into Go Kids, you know, even the kids, you know, the, the, some of the other kids that you don't really speak to that much, I want to challenge you to start speaking to them. I want to challenge you to, to talk about inviting, you know, them over to your house for, you know, inviting them to your next party. I want to challenge you guys to love and to let love bring us together because that's what our memory verse is about today it says for you are all one in Christ Jesus and if we're one then people that don't know Jesus can see how God's love has brought us together and they can come in too they can come and say I want to be a part of that you know I want to be part of that family of love you know because at the end of the day we're all members of God's household okay and if God is love then we need to follow God's example and we need to love each other as well okay so I want to encourage you guys with that today, okay? And I want you guys to think about different ways that you can love. Even before we come back, think about different different things that you could do. I mentioned a few, you know, it can even be your words. I mean, you guys remember, the, I don't know if you remember, you know, the, the, the sketch from earlier on, right? And the whole smelly, you know, the whole smelly Stephen um, sketch. You know, he was saying, you know, that student was saying that, you know, someone stank. And he said that to his face and he got in trouble for it. And he was saying, yeah, because he, he, you know, he was told to perform acts of kindness. So he told him that he stinks. But no, because if what you're doing is hurting the other person, that's not love. You need to check that. You need to think, mm -mm, is this going to hurt someone else's feelings? Okay. If I'm sat next to someone in Goku's that I've never sat with before, you know, how am I going to react? Am I going to be like, oh, I don't want to sit with you. I want to sit. I want to sit with with the people I usually sit next to. Okay, that's not that. The other person isn't going to feel love from you. So we need to be careful of that. Okay, and we need to make sure in what we're saying and what we're doing, the examples of love, and we're following Jesus's footsteps of how to love just like him. craft challenge Joyce has got for us this week. Well, let's take a look. Thank you once again, Joyce. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Don't forget to send that to the email below and your testimonies as well, okay? I cannot wait to see and hear all that God's been doing in your life and I cannot wait to see your craft challenge, okay? So, thank you so much for joining me in today's video, okay? Make sure in everything that you do this week, okay? Everything that you do, absolutely everything that you do, do it 
out of love, okay? Because love is powerful, okay? Love is so powerful, okay? Because God is powerful and God is love, right? Therefore, love is powerful, okay? And true love is found in God, okay? Because he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us. And that's the perfect example of love that anyone could ever ask for, okay? So I pray that God just pours out his love over each and every single one of you this week and over each and every single one of your families and even your, your families, extended families, I don't know Jesus, I just pray that God pours out his love upon them and pours out his love over your friends. Every single person that you're, you're praying comes to know Jesus, you're praying becomes a Christian, I pray that God just pours out his love upon them. Anyone that's that might be sick, that might feel neglected, that might feel like no one loves them, I just pray that God just pours out his love over every single person right now in the name of Jesus, okay? Amen, amen, okay? So, I will see you guys next week, okay? Myself and Harriet are gonna go home now. Harriet, you ready to go home? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I think she's ready to go home. Always remember that God has made you the very best. Have a wonderful week. Stay blessed and see you next week. Bye.